A good friend of mine once said, having no expectations has done marvelously. So, that being said, I try not to have any. Things go to shit, and either you deal with it or you don't. Survive, don't let lumbering giants crush you yeah. under their fall. Yeah. Giving up's not an option. It was pretty hairy there for a while, and uh, this has been a nice uh, catharsis. It's a new start, you know? Everything was fresh, and it's a chance to explore influences that we, you know, weren't really, they just they just didn't feel like they would have fit in the past or anything, so, I mean, just be able to f experiment more with that shit, but then there was just something about this to where this felt like it had to be more aggressive and it had to be more pissed off, but it also had to be sadder, and it just, everything about it had to be more, but so it was just like, I think the writing process for this one was really just like distilling down the energy to it's just like its most like solid core. When we started doing this stuff, we very purposefully tried new things, and, and some of that is, um, or some of that was, trying to be more simple, um, four four time, repeating ideas, um, things like that, um, and then also some more abstract concepts as well. And the, the nice thing is, uh, when you do that, at first it feels uncomfortable and, you know, maybe it's not the best that it can be, but it helps you get better, it helps you expand your vocabulary, and then, you know, down the road, hopefully you can implement some of those ideas a little bit more organically, naturally, comfortably. I feel like that's where we're at right now. When we were writing the, the EP, it was, uh, it was a lot of banging our heads up against the wall. Um, and, I don't know, a lot of the, at least the parts that we've written, it feels a lot more natural. There's a lot of evolution that happens um, when you tour on songs. Um, you find little nuances that you can emphasize and uh, I don't know, you get better at them, they start to feel more natural, you start to have ideas off of those songs that you might want to either experiment with live or play into new songs that you write. I feel like touring helps you understand that material and your future material in a, um, in a different way. We should be able to get something written, like a full length, ready, you know, within a decent amount of time. You know? it, it's just hard because we're the kind of band that takes our time and explores as many um, ideas as possible. I feel like we have enough of the organs and the bones and all that stuff to have a body, but we just haven't put it together yet, and that takes time. When you, you know, have a new start or whatever, you want to push a little more um, outside of your comfort zone, because it, it's, you know, you got to learn how to make lemonade out of lemons and start to see things as opportunities and you know, this was an opportunity for us to maybe push outside of our our core. If Deathwish tells you, you guys, whatever you guys want to do, we'll back you, then you're gonna fucking do it. It's an opportunity to do things with uh, a record label that has, there's just no bullshit about them having their you know, their shit together. They're just a fucking awesome label.
a label as much as anything needs to be there to provide when it needs to provide. And everything has been really easy, um, almost stunningly so. Um, they're just on top of their game. It's a weight off your shoulder as a band, like it, because it, it's one less thing you have to worry on, worry about, and you can just focus on being the band. It all reduces down to just don't, just, just don't, just don't be an asshole. And if you care about stuff, your life's probably gonna be generally better. Giving a shit. That's yeah. Give a shit. Yeah. You guys do that. We won't be assholes. Thanks for giving a shit. <laughs>